Jason Lemmy was willing to undergo a surgery that could have resulted in brain damage if his doctor hadn't convinced him that he needed to be awake during the operation. And if you damage these areas, the patient will not be able to talk or understand the, the spoken language. And to, in order to preserve speech, the only way you can do it is with a patient awake. That's all it took to convince 28-year-old Jason Lemmy that he needed to be an active participant as his doctor removes a cancerous brain tumor. The way I understand it, you don't remember it. So I, I don't know if I like the idea about being awake during it, but as long as I don't remember it afterwards, it should be okay. Can you cut, count to 10? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is what Jason won't remember, and as remarkable as it may seem, sedatives and numbing medications, along with the fact that the brain has no nerve endings, means he feels no pain during the operation. I tried to make the smallest possible incision and then the smallest possible opening, uh, in, 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 so that the patient can tolerate the procedure better and recover faster. Yeah, that's good. Do you wiggle your toes? You guys, is he wiggling? Yep. yep. Everything looks good. Throughout the surgery, Jason is asked to answer questions or move parts of his body. The correct response ensures the surgeon removes only the tumor, not functional brain tissue. The vessels going through the tumor, and if you damage one of these vessels, you would have a stroke. While Asphora was able to remove 90% of the 4 by 2 inch tumor, some of it is too close to critical pathways to remove surgically. Radiation is the next step in Jason's treatment. So with the Novalis, we can focus the radiation just to the area of the tumor to have better control of tumor growth or recurrence. Believe it or not, Jason will be out of the hospital in less than 48 hours. It will be about two months before his skull heals completely.